Hello everybody and welcome to this video tutorial. In this one, what I want to do is not just show you how to rewire Reason 8 to Cubase Pro 8.5, but what I want to do is, yeah, rewire them together, but also be able to control Reason's devices with Cubase via MIDI. So we're not just in the rewire for the audio, we're actually controlling Reason's instruments with MIDI control commands within Cubase. So to start, what I'll do, as I've come across to, I'm still on Reason 8 for the moment. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I do like Reason. I think it's a great program. I love the racks, the routing capabilities, and I think it sounds really good. Um, the new SSL 9000 mixer is really good as well. I'm impressed with that. But what I just don't like, I think it's really weak, is because when it comes to each sequencer, it's, it has been improved since version 8. Um, it's, a lot, it's a massive improvement from 7, 7.1, but there's still loads of room for improvement. Now I'm a Cubase user, and it doesn't come close to Cubase at all when it comes to sequencing. In my opinion, it's very weak. So what I want to do is just use Reason for its sound and control all its sound and audio with Cubase. So what I'm going to do here now in Reason is create a nice pad type of sound. What's this one here? A Canadian Journey Thor. So just drag that in. And like, obviously we're not hearing anything now because it's rewired. So I've got my pad there. I don't want the program. And what I want to do on this particular pad is filter three. I want to control filter three's frequency with Cubase. Okay. So if I come back to Cubase now, what I've got to do is go to Devices. And then go Reason Rewire. That's the one. Now, for some reason, the channels aren't showing up, even though they aren't turned on. So turn them off and back on again. There you go. The rewired channels appeared here now. Now, that's just a mix left and right coming from Reason. And I think that's fine because the new SL, SSL mixer in Reason is it's pretty powerful. It's, it sounds great. You could do individual instruments, which all these channels are here. I mean, you've got up to like... 64 channels each, so you could still do it like that. But for this exercise, I'm just going to keep it as mixed left and right. So we've got that. You've got your mix left and right out here. Right click, add a MIDI track. One track, add track. Now there's your MIDI track there. For me, input device, I use a M Audio Code 49. Now if you come to your out device here and come down to, there you go, you've got Reason A. Canadian Journey. You don't want the mix channel, you want the actual device. So if you click that, you should, by some magic, hear that now. There we go. So it's playing that Thor pad now in reason. I presume you all know this bit. But like I said, the purpose of this tutorial is now to control that now with MIDI. So what I'm going to do is you will need a MIDI implementation chart for reason, which can be downloaded on the Propellerhead website. Once you've got your chart, which is here, Whoa, it's got really bright. I want to control filter three on that full pad. So if my notes are right, there you go. Control number 58 is filter three frequency. So what do you do to minimize that? Let's go back to, to Cubase. There it is. And on your MIDI track, drop down a little arrow there. And then when it says volume, click that. And then go to more. Then go to all CC, all control changes, in other words. And then come down to control, or did I say it was 58? Um, control 58 there. And click on OK. Enable read automation. And now let's just draw a little rise of the filter from low to high. And now let's say come back down again. Uh, that's, uh, and would help if I created a MIDI track as well. So actually on the MIDI track here, MIDI 1, double click, double click again to go in. Let's just draw in a C. Oh, that's the great thing about Pro 8.5 Cubase now, which you can just double click. It's great. Massive improvement and on that one there, on the actual grid. Let's just say, let's do that. There you go. Not sure what that chord is. Is it C major? Something like that. I'm not sure. Um, so okay, so shut that down. Now we should have the chord playing. Um, press play. I 
what you can hear is that actual automation is is actually working what I drew in there because I drew it in obviously before I put the MIDI track on but it's still reading the um, the automation so let's play it again and if you come across to reason and you watch the filter knob there you will see that moving let's play it in reason obviously you can play it via reason because it's in rewind mode so play in reason and watch the filter frequency on um, filter 3 of the Thor it's, you can actually see that moving and the same would apply for any device within Thor or Subtractor, uh, Maelstrom and then XT90, any sort of device within reason it's the same, what you'd have to do is just look at that um, MIDI implementation chart here and it'll tell you the CC control for it but once you know that that is how you control uh, Reason 9s or Reason 8s. I'm still on Reason 8. Reason 8s devices with Cubase. So basically that's it. I hope um, you've actually learned something from this. Because there are some tutorials on YouTube on how to do this with the rewiring. But I've not seen anything that mentions that how to do MIDI. Which has been bugging me for a while. So I've thought I'll have to look into it. Now one thing what does bug me as well about this is you can't actually name, rename the control because at the moment here if you say, see it says all CC iPhone CC control 58 I'd like to be able to rename that to you know for filter 3 filter three frequency but as it goes I don't think you can rename it which is a bit of a pain I've tried a few things I can't see anything so folks if you do know how to rename that if there is a way please let me know but uh, that's the only little gripe with it really. You can get lost if you have a lot of automation going on. Okay, so uh, I finally got around to doing this tutorial. It's been a long, long time for me. So I um, hope you bear with me. And I do hope um, you've learned something from it. Okay then, folks. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye.